Welcome back to our final show. So now we know what we can do to help reduce our impact on future climate change. It is still a fact that we will see changes to our climate and our coast in our lifetime due to the actions taken by people in the past. These changes could be good or bad. For example, hotter, drier summers would be good for tourism, but harmful for some of the rare animals living on our coast. Due to the impact humans have had, plus the natural changes which have always affected the coast, we need to understand how here in Sefton we can learn to live with these changes. This is called adaptation. The Sefton coast will always adapt to change, both natural and man-made. In fact, it's always changing, trying to reach a natural balance. We need to learn how to adapt as well, to limit the negative impact nature can have on us. What action can we take so we can enjoy the benefits of change without ourselves and our animal friends suffering? It's difficult to know because it's difficult to predict the future, but there is already a lot of work going on in Sefton. Just taking a look along our coast, you can see some of the clever things people have done to protect themselves and things which are important to them from the sea. The most obvious one is the sea wall. It's not all due to humans though. The environment adds natural protection in some places, in the form of sand dunes and salt marshes. Now over to our squirrel on the scene, Sydney, to see some of these examples. Hi, I'm here at the Green Beach in Southport. This area has been protected and allowed to thrive and in doing so has created a natural defence from the incoming tide. The damage the sea is capable of, for example the storm events, is much reduced where natural defences like this are found. Another example of how nature is adapting and protecting the land from the sea can be found here at the sand dunes south of Formby Point. We're lucky to have a long stretch of dunes along the Sefton coast. They form naturally over many years. In some places along our coast, they are being restored by marum glass planting and even by part burying used Christmas trees. This traps the sand, making the dune bigger, which gives more protection from the sea. Now I'm at Formby Point. Over the last 150 years, we've seen major changes in the landscape, as you can see from this board behind me. The coastline is on the move. Take a look at where experts think it might end up in another 50 or 100 years time, and what could be lost. I've arrived in Southport at the seawall. It was decided to put up the wall here after several floods created hazards on the coast road. The wall also allowed us to protect an area of land beyond the road which used to get flooded at high tides and this is where we've built a new fun leisure park. As you can see, changes to this section of the coast could have a bigger impact on our way of life. It's important to protect our society from coastal changes. Land developers need to look carefully at how the coast may change in the future when making plans for new developments. There is a limit. We can't keep building seawalls higher and higher. Because of this, Sefton Council are thinking ahead and don't allow new buildings to be located in flood prone areas. Now back to the studio. So in Sefton, it seems like there is already a lot being done to make sure we adapt sensibly to future climate and coastal changes. Building sea walls, restoring our dunes, allowing salt marsh to develop and preventing people from building on flood risk land. But that doesn't mean we don't need to understand coastal change or that we shouldn't still do our bit to help reduce our impact on climate change for the Sefton coast and beyond. We may not suffer serious effects here for some time to come, but elsewhere in the UK and wider world, Climate change could cause a major problem, and soon. So, to recap, mitigation is protecting nature from us, and adaptation is protecting us from nature. That's right, and it's really important that we start to act on both of them now. Thanks for watching our Coast Watch series. We hope we've inspired you to get out there and learn more about our fantastic, ever-changing coastline.